originally years ago, I met a guy who was known as Tony Blue Eyes. He had the most, I mean, Elizabeth Taylor would have been jealous of them. And he said when he was a kid, his teacher gave him a note, his homeroom teacher, and sent him to another teacher. And she read it, and she sent him to another teacher. Before long, I was getting out of a lot of work, going back and forth and back and forth. And one teacher would open the note, look at me, smile, laugh, sometimes kiss me. And off I'd go to another teacher. And finally, it dawned on me that I was being sent back and forth with the same note. So I read it. It said, did you ever see such a smile? He thought this was his way of getting paying his way into society and to, into being accepted. When you pay attention, really listen to somebody, that's what the camera picks up. And they pick up the truth, you know? And they pick up if you're listening or if you have it preconceived, even though it's minuscule. It, the camera it knows. The chemistry between the two of them is probably the most important thing in the film that makes the picture successful. You know, they said that uh, Stan Rogers, he gave her class and she gave him sex. Well, I think that's true here. Redford gave Barbara class, she gave him sex. for you. You surprised me. Again. Good surprise or bad surprise? Good. I gotta get out of here. Now well, let's go for a walk. Okay, we will. Just finish the chapter I first. I can't. I'm stuck. Go. I'm stuck. Let's eat? go out. No, I don't want anything to eat. Why don't you sit down and let's relax go out. for a little Can bit? we go to a movie? We can go to a movie anytime. I'd like to, to listen to a subway. Fingers? Massage my fingers. Yeah, it'll make you feel better. Katie, we've been cooped up here for two whole days. Okay. Now, honest to God. Now look, I promise we will go out as soon as you finish. You only have a few more pages to go, and you've got to stay I... with it, Hubble. Come on. Mm. Besides, I love being cooped up with you. Be hopeful. You have to believe in yourself. Carry a banner, my pop used to say. Always a banner or you turn into a vegetable. Maybe you'll meet him. What would he say? Oh, he'd say, hello, how are you? Um, would you like some tea? He'd love it. Dad, I'd like you to meet Katie Morosky. What would he think? He'd say... I don't know what he'd say. Do you love them? Mother, I love you. I love you, Dad. I love you, Hubble. It's all right. College, I stood under a maple tree selling Loyalist Spain. And you wouldn't let Jews into your fraternity house. Now you've married one and she's going to have your baby. We live on the beach in Malibu, California, and that is not where we started. Why? Are you such a rare blood type? They'll need you. Hubble, I'm going to Washington because it isn't fair to let our friends, Brooks and the Hollywood Ten, take a beating for the rest of us and not do something. It's a gesture, Katie. A pointless, futile gesture. And it can cause a hell of a lot of trouble. I'm not afraid of trouble. Not even for us? Barbara and I have had this 30-year discussion about <laughs> a couple of scenes which she loves, but there was a, a lovely scene that she's very good in, uh, where she's driving her car, 
she's pregnant and she stops and sees a girl like herself and it's very very thematically right it's the way we were it's oh god there i was once and everything about it is wonderful My drive through UCLA, seeing a girl that reminded me of myself 20 years before, and what has happened to my character, what have I become, how have I sold out, it makes one rethink one's life and purpose in life. Who is Frank McVeigh? Frank McVeigh? Old Frankie, huh? Um... We went to college with him. Well, at least I did. We were in the YCL together. Why? He informed on you. He what? <laughs> the little rat. Oh, it's so crazy. He was my. He was my. Uh, he was my date at the senior prom and. And you cut in for 10 seconds, and I... What could he tell them anyway? I mean, I left the party during the war, for God's sake. They don't care about that. But I'm a nobody. I mean, I... I haven't been near the studio for months. Um... Oh, God. Because I'm your wife? Someone has informed on her. And they said to him, you have a subversive wife. And if you continue to have a subversive wife, you're fired. What's the choice? Either she informs or he's fired. Couple, there is no justification for informing, none. There's something very wrong with any country that makes for informers. Christ, is that what you think I want you to do? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anymore. All I know is that if I don't name names, you can't get a job in this town. And he really belonged in Hollywood. He really didn't belong in France writing a novel. He was happy there. And that's why my character would say, will you stay with me till the baby's born? It's accepting reality. And it has character and it has strength and it has intelligence in that decision. But the way the movie is now, without those two scenes, it's, um, it seems like uh, we broke up because he slept with a, another girl once. If we got a divorce, you wouldn't have a subversive wife. That would solve everything, wouldn't it? No. No, it wouldn't. 